So imagine this sheet of paper being the surface of the earth. I now fold it, and I fold it twice, until it's only one quarter its original size. What you see now is the total amount of land available in the world. The rest is water and ice. Now, this here is my business card. And the equivalent amount of land of my business card is the total amount of agricultural land in the world. All land, all agricultural land. I take my business card and I fold it into one piece that's two thirds and the other piece that's one third its original size. And then I rip my own business card into pieces. So this is all agricultural land and the larger of the two pieces is what we call marginal land. Characterizes the amount of land in the world that is not suitable to grow crops. You can't because the soil is not good enough or there's not enough water, marginal land. So two thirds of all agricultural land in the world is marginal. The remaining one third of all agricultural land is called arable. This is where we can grow all crops. Let's go back to the marginal land though. What do we do currently with 70% of all agricultural land, the so-called marginal land globally? We graze livestock. To be precise, we graze ruminant livestock there. In fact, you cannot do anything else there. You can't use it for pigs or poultry because they don't have the digestive tract to eat the grasses and legumes that can live on that marginal land. So if it weren't for ruminant livestock, we would effectively not make use of the majority of agricultural land in the world. 